Hello and welcome to us Murd P video and I know it's been a while but I, I finally got an opportunity to review Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 53 and on the cover we can see the Dark Rangers Bamboo, Finster, sorry Squat, Bamboo, Finster, Golda and Rita in the middle and this is written by Ryan Parrot, who is um, all things Power Rangers at the moment as far as comics are concerned and illustrated by uh, Moses Hidego. Sorry, I probably said that wrong. Uh, Let's done by Ed. Waters on the colors. The usual team there. Now, I like the first bit where, where um, we see Rita. She's talking about the putties and she's literally ripping them apart saying she understands why you, you would use them because they, they've got no minds of their own. They're not interested in arguing with you. They just kind of get on with it. However, that's their, the, the biggest limitation of them because, because they don't think. They don't um, adapt or change or do things different or, or are not very creative in against their villains. Um, so I thought that was nice for her to talk about the pies that way because we probably thought that for a very long time. It's probably just never been said out loud, I guess. Um, and then, well... She gets stabbed in the chest, and Zed said um, he can agree more. And um, if you were the real reader, you, you know, I need th those sort of skills, etc. Not just a mindless thing that, that you currently are. However, you're here, and I believe the job is yours. If you can patch yourself up together, you can be my new Red Ranger. And, and this reader clone or putty or whatever Vincer has made here is um, certainly willing to uh, uh, do whatever she has to for her master. Now, it's not the first time that we've seen um, duplicate Power Rangers and stuff like that, but um, I feel like these guys are going to be a little bit more powerful. Meanwhile, uh, Billy has had a major breakthrough. He can now power up the power coin. And he's an absolute genius, as um, Grace uh, puts it. And he is very pleased to be able to give this coin to Zordon. However, Grace does not agree with that assessment. She's been on, uh, I guess, she probably has been on one of the worst decisions Zordon has made. Uh, the Moon in 1969, uh, where pretty much her whole team were decimated apart from one. And she says she has no intention of... The power coin being given to him and that it should be used for good still and along with the the psycho green dagger as well which he has so some interesting dilemmas for billy and she says you know what he'll never trust you again she kind of manipulates him a bit saying he, he's not going to trust you again after you've gone up behind his back for all these years to create this so they talk about how they can find candidates, and um, Billy says that this seems very calculated, whereas um, Alpha uses algorithms, so a little bit different. Um, and she says, and he says, it's got to be someone we can trust, somebody we can work with, somebody we know. It can't just be somebody that is unknown to us. And she says, okay. Um, and and they clearly think very alike these two, which is great. I like um, these two working together and Billy having a, a bigger stake in the world as well. And um, she comes up with Lord Draken, <laughs> which, as you can imagine, he finds completely insane. Um, he's an absolute maniac. He talks to a decapitated uh, sword head and um, she says that she spent a lot of time with him and he is very uh, complicated and he's not just a straightforward villain. Which usually they're not, let's be honest. Um, we like villains that are complicated and not just uh, straightforward. Hey, he's a bad guy. You're a good guy. I like a bit of grey. Um, so he could be a valuable ally. So meanwhile, um, it's morphing time for the Dark Rangers. <laughs> so we get this very, very nice scene here. Uh, Dark Ranger blue, black, pink, yellow, red. Dark Rangers Rise. Very, very good. Very, very cool. Um, and I love the, the kind of... It looks like um, a gene cell 
behind of DNA. So I do dig. Okay, so the, the rangers arrived and uh, pleasantly surprised to see um, Dark Rangers, considering last time Dark Rangers were made, but they didn't really go anywhere. I guess, um, and they didn't really look like this either, so he thought it was odd. Um, Kimberly and Aisha tackle Golda, two to one, and there's some, uh, some nice banter going on there, which is uh, interesting, and they, Goldar intent is to say, I've got power and you're kind of going down. And um, he starts to probably um, make some headway. Uh, Squat faces off against Billy and he is more agile than ever. And um, he actually gives gets some licks in there, which is kind of cool. And uh, Jason, uh, not Jason, Rocky kind of mocks... Uh, I was thinking of Jason when I was reading this because I was um, wondering why would uh, Jason be fighting Finster, but um, it's not, it's Rocky. So um, he says, you're more of a behind the man scenes and, you know, I, I'm going to, you, you shouldn't be out here, you're going to get hurt. And anyway, uh, Finster reverses that and um, says he's going to be the device this time and I can do things as well and you should be surprised. Now... Adam, um, this one was interesting. So Adam faces off against uh, Bamboo. He's like a spider monkey, and um, he, 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 it's not a real spider. It's not. A, and and when I was reading this, I was thinking of Zach, because Zach was the one who had fears of spiders. I don't ever remember uh, Adam having a fear for spiders. Um, if you do, mention it because um, I would like to go back and just track that. Um, that episode, but um, I'm not sure whether it's intentional here, whether um, Ron was perhaps thinking of Zack when, when he wrote this or, or what, but um, if he was thinking of Zack, he, he's made a, a marginal error. Now, for somebody who is a big fan of Power Rangers, he's, he's a really good writer. You know, it, it's, it's a harmless um, mistake, I would say, if, if that is a mistake. Um, we're not sure it is. Anyway, Tommy is facing off against... Uh, Rita, and um, he soon realizes that she is not Rita at all, and she talks about, I am uh, every flaw, every mistake, every loss, everything, and that's what makes me whole, and, and tell me kind of, you know, well, you said it, and it's got a bit of arrogance about it, which um, pretty much he soon regrets, because this Rita takes him out, and she takes him out quick because she isn't the Rita that's held back by um, her ego um, of leadership and servants doing the work. It, she is one that is ready to get down and dirty and do what needs to happen. So uh, Tommy um, ends up falling short in that battle and that's what we like. We like the Rangers to lose first in these battles and then come back here. So meanwhile um, there's a little bit here where um, they're trying to come up with a plan. And B says, Rocky, you caught it. He's like, well, why me? Because you're the Red Ranger. But he's not, you know, the Red Ranger like Jason would have been Red Ranger. He's just, you know, he's like them. He's follows Tommy's the leader, etc. So I like that bit that Rocky acknowledges, I'm not in charge here. <laughs> you know, because he wasn't really. He was just, just a Ranger at once when he joined, which is, um, you know, I, I prefer Rocky when he's the Blue Ranger because it felt like he he was free of this this trait that the Red Ranger had given him and um, he could be himself, etc. So anyway, they start blasting, etc. and they start losing a bit of their cool. So um, Zed does something that you wouldn't expect. Uh, behold. Oh, sorry, that went a bit bl blurry. Behold the Terror Zords. And uh, let me just take that in a little bit closer. There we go. So um, all I can say is this was a really, really cool issue. Lots of fun. It flowed like anything. I was done with it in about, I, I'm, I can be a slow reader, about 15, 20 minutes. Depends on what's going on around me. I can be distracted as well. So um, very, very nice issue. Flowed really nicely. Riding 
doing what he does um, best. Um, I guess in uh, 54, perhaps we'll see um, perhaps your mega ranges again because that's what he seems to be doing to in and fro and just building up to these these two um, spin off series, I guess we're going to call them. But you got Power Rangers this way, and you got Mighty Morphin going this way. So, how this ends is how those two will spin off, which is great. And we've already seen some of that. I mean, we know that there's a new Green Ranger in town, and we know that um, that's going to happen. So, it's nice to see the build up to that stuff as well. Artwork is fantastic. Um, to be honest with you, I, I, I barely hate art because the way that I look at artists is it's their interpretation of the storyline. It's how they deliver that storyline for the writer. Um, and they have every right to do it. They've been chosen because they're talent and they've been chosen to deliver it. Whether we like that art or not, there's some stuff that I, you know, I look at and I think, hmm, it doesn't really gel for me, but you know, there's some things that, whoa, that is amazing. Do you know what I mean? But each artist deserves their own shot on these comics, these issues, etc., because they're talented. Um, same with the writers. Um, we talk about X Men, and there's there's some stories that people really hate, but I, I generally read them, and I, I just that's how the writer decided to tell that story. Um, I'm not going to say that every story is brilliant because they're not, and not every run is brilliant. Um, but you know what? We choose to read these things, and I. I Enjoy them for the most part, even when I have some gripes about stuff. So, um, another good issue. I've got issue 54. Um, I've got some other stuff to review, but I'm, I'm hoping to be caught up at some point this week. Also, we got Dragon's New Dawn free coming in the next couple of weeks as well, so that'll be good to get. So, thanks for watching. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Cyclops Smurd. My page on Facebook is Smurd P. I'm on Twitter at smurred p a like comment and please subscribe to my channel i'm trying to hit a thousand so i really appreciate that and uh embrace the geekiness and have a good day take care goodbye